Hi guys, today's video is completely different from our usual videos. Um, first off, we are doing the video in English, which is what I'm most comfortable with. Jay's most comfortable with Spanish. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but um, stick around if you want to see what we're going to be discussing today. Okay, so we are trying like a new video kind of thing. So I wanted you guys to see different opinions from both of us. Um, just because we've been together for a long time doesn't mean we have the same opinions, right? Never. We Yeah, it, it's so funny because if you know us in person, we are the total opposite of each other. So we're going to be discussing two to three topics today, right? Um, the first topic is going to be why we are deciding to share our life online. So Jay, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of, well, I've been doing it for a long time, so it's fine for me. I mean, for me, it's, I don't know, it's, I don't know. What do you mean? I don't know why I shared. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, l let me like clarify on that because I feel like I've been doing like content creating for like four years now. Um, so I'm used to like sharing everything online. You know, I'll post everything on my Instagram. I'm super active on Instagram. I did YouTube for a while. Um, I work with a lot of major brands. So I am very open and I'm the kind of person that likes to share my life online, which is why I've been like trying to get Jay to do it a little more often. He's a lot worse at posting. But I think it's because obviously he has a full-time job, so he's not worried about being on his cell phone as much as I am. Um, yeah, that's true. Actually, that's I think that's because why I don't post that often mm -hmm. because of my job. But um, if I had the time, then <laughs> of course I would post something, but I don't have the time to take pictures when I'm dressed. At work. I don't even care. I don't care. Which I'm gonna say like I have so much content of him. Like my phone has so many pictures of him doing things. So like if if he wanted to, he could just post those pictures, but But you never send it to me. <sighs> okay, so Jay wants me to edit his pictures, post his stuff, he wants me to find the caption, mm -hmm. which I can do, but it's no like No edit, I don't care. Like they can look at me who I am. <laughs> I don't need to edit anything. No. Like right now, I have a fucking pimple over here. I, I'm not saying edit like make you pretty. I'm saying like edit like with a filter, like for the aesthetic. It's a matter. They can see. So are you saying that I use a lot of filters? No, like they can see the real me. So they're not seeing the real me? They're seeing the real you, but no around you. <laughs> oh my god. So they can see what Okay. me and around me. Okay, so then lastly, I would say that I feel like when you share everything online, like people tend to think that they do know you. For me, you know, I always thought it was weird how sometimes like someone would message me and be like, oh, hey, look, I saw these and I thought of you or like sometimes I'll post, for example, like one of the, my big thing is like mint chocolate chip. It's like one of my favorite things. So sometimes like a follower of mine will like send a picture be like, hey, look, I'm having this and it reminds me of you. So I feel like little things like that, even though it's like not huge and important, like it just makes me feel good because it, you know, like I feel like I have a bond with them. And that's what I've been trying to get Jay to kind of do a little bit more. I'm, I'm really going to help him post more online so you can. His thing is he always tells me, he's like, it's because you need to be recording me all the time. That's it. That, that's the thing. Like, things that I say, they're funny, they just can like, they just come out, out of me, like, I don't think about it. He wants me to be there with a camera on his face. He thinks I'm a reality show. So what once, are you, the Kardashians? You want me to be following once, around? Once the moment pass, it's done, it's gone. Like, I cannot go back, like, she needs to be with a camera all the time. Oh my God. Why don't you record me all the time? Like, right now. Stop it, Joey. <laughs> We've been watching Friends, re-watching Friends for like the third time. And yesterday was the episode where Joey's like misusing the air quotes. <laughs> um, it was so funny. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> okay, my second RCEP it. Well, okay, so since this is the first kind of like episode, we. Like, right now. We're testing it out, you guys. Uh, we don't have money. Let it on. We don't we know what we're doing. Have, like, once you subscribe and everything. Nah, I'm kidding. Yes. No, once. yes. We want them to subscribe. What do you mean? I mean, yeah, of course. But what I, I was trying to say, like, once you subscribe with that money, that they will pay me everything. <laughs> I will buy some <laughs> microphones, right? You're but so money hungry. I was just joking. Just like me. I was just joking. No, he's not joking. I'm joking. not. Anyways, what I was getting at is... Like today's episode is not going to be super long. It's just us kind of playing around with it and see how we feel and the feedback that we get from like our friends and family. But I, I think we get out already from the team. Is it team? What? Or how do you say it? What are you talking about? What are we talking about? We're getting out from... <laughs> what are you talking about, Amor? Nothing. Okay. We're getting out from like... From what we were supposed to talk. Oh, we're getting out of topic. Oh, topic handling. No, because, uh, well, okay, the next topic. <laughs> okay, no. Jay is so over me. Okay. Right now we were at the, this is off topic. Right now we were at the store and he was annoying the hell out of me. He was playing with the cart. He was yelling at Walmart. People were looking at him like, sir. And I'm like, Jay, you're so annoying. He's like, oh, am I annoying you? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, great. Good. Okay. God. Okay. Anyway, second topic. The second topic Jay's gonna start with. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you guys. I'm the Which one that one? does all the topics, and he just goes along with it. Which um, one? So our second topic is social media and the way it affects relationships. So, what are your thoughts on social media? And basically, one, the way it affects relationships. And two, like what you think about couples who are like hardcore always posting each other online. Tell me what you think about that. I don't understand the second part. Like, o sea, like, que piensas like de... posting each other, like I post you and you post y Like me. Yeah, like couples that are like literally like the Instagram couples or the YouTube couples that are like constantly only like... I love this person so much. Like this is my best friend. Blah, blah. And that's fake. Okay. Okay. So talk. Expand about it. I'm what you need to. I mean, I think when people eat like that, it's because they just want to show what they don't. They are not. <laughs> so um, when somebody is real, you don't have to try that hard mm -hmm. to be that person. It's just. So is that why you never post me? It's not that I never post you, but not even myself. I don't post myself. Like, mm -hmm. everybody knows me. Okay. So. So what do you think about me like following? I don't follow Instagram models. I follow like famous men, which I guess could count as models. What do you I mean, do? It's you... the same thing, like. But like, it doesn't bother you, right? Like, you don't care. It's fine. Which is very weird because he's a very jealous person. I'm a jealous person. I'm not jealous. What do you mean? I'm not jealous. What? So you're not jealous? That's a straight up lie, you guys. But anyways. Um, but, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're so annoying. <laughs> okay. So, for me, I feel like I told Jay... Like, I don't really care if he follows, like, the Instagram baddies, you know, like, literally models and, like, bikini. Like, it, I feel like, personally, it doesn't bother me. Maybe when I'm, like, feeling insecure about something and then I see him following them, then I feel like that kind of, like, triggers me. But I'm not the kind of person that's gonna be like, no, don't follow those women at all. Oh, you're so liar. I am literally telling them when I feel insecure. Okay. We had an incident recently, you guys. <laughs> okay, and again, I feel I don't care if he follows the women. It doesn't bother me. But what bother me is if you're going to go and like a random bitch's post. Like, don't be liking other women's posts that are not me. Okay, so... Wait, let me, like, wait. let me finish. No, no, no. Let me finish. Let me finish. It's my turn. I'm not going to go. I'm like, it bothers me if you're going to go like some random bitch that's in a bikini. Like, you can follow her, but why are you liking her photos? 
Like for what? I feel like that's just like, why? When do I go like a men's photo that's like in a bikini? I don't know, you know why? Why? Because I don't stalk you. I do stalk you, I don't care. I know, I know you. <laughs> Well, I have nothing else to do to, to do. No, I'm not working. That's... Find something. So, am I right or am I wrong? Neither. <laughs> what do you mean? You're not right, but you're also not wrong. Okay. Um, it's, the other it's thing. Okay. I mean, going to the second part of the topic is. Um, Oh my god, I forgot it. What was it? <laughs> oh, like what I think about like couples that constantly post each other. Um, I feel like I'm guilty of liking that. Why do you, what are you looking at? You keep staring at my chest. The my necklace. boobs. No, the necklace. The necklaces? Ne necklace, yeah. Yeah, I have two new necklaces that Jay bought me. But anyways, um... I, I'm guilty of like liking couples, like Instagram couples. I feel like they're like my guilty pleasures, but I feel like, it's kind of like Jay said, I feel like a lot of it can be fake a lot of the times, you know, they just kind of want to post to make it seem a certain way. Like personally, I know a lot of like couples, a lot of guys and a lot of girls personally who would constantly post their significant other, but you know, would tell me a different story or like I would see a different story so I think like when Jay and I first got together how long ago was that 10 years ago 10 years like when we got together 10 years ago because again I feel like I've always been very That's open it. online in 2012 2022 we would be 10 years mm -hmm. um it really bothered me I think at first when we got together because he didn't, he never would post. Like, he would never post me. And I would be like, I'm always posting him. Like, why is he never posting me, you know? And it would. But I never post anything, like. I know, but that's what I'm saying now. Like, it's different because that we were just together. Like, we had just gotten together, so I didn't understand. I didn't understand why you didn't want to show me off. It's not that I want to show, it's not that I don't want to show you off. <laughs> <laughs> show you all the time. I show you off all the time when well, we're out. Okay, yeah, but those people don't know me. I know you. Oh my god. <laughs> That's well, more than the enough. point is that it doesn't bother me anymore because again, like I guess, just from seeing, like I said, the personal situations, I kind of feel better. But I mean, it doesn't mean that he's not hoeing around. So. That's what. That you're not hoeing around. <laughs> I don't even know what's that. Oh my, he doesn't know what hoeing around means. Hoeing around, like andas de puta. Oh, nah, I don't need to. Um, okay, so the last topic that we're going to be discussing is why we moved to a completely different state and why we recommend that you do it. Jay, you go first. Or should I go first? I mean, for me, it wasn't something new, to be honest. I did it one time before, but I was by myself. Um, <gasps> something happened. I went back, but now we have the like we had again the opportunity to move, and. Uh, that's when I talked to Leslie and she said yes, I was ready for it, now here we are. But we weren't married at the time. And no, I'm just saying so that they know, like at the time, like because he would always go to different places to work, but I would never go with him because we weren't married and I was like, why am I going to go with him if I'm not married, you know? Um, but like, what would you say? is the best thing about us moving away because we had like very different lifestyles. I know that I've said this probably before on YouTube. We grew up with completely different lifestyles. So he was constantly surrounded by by his family. So like to you, like how how is it 
affected you, you know, like not being with your family? I mean, it's hard, but I don't know. Sometimes you need to take a risk. I don't know how to say it. Like a risk. It's not a risk, but like nothing is just gonna come out because you want to. Like you need to take. You need to. You need to work you need hard. To take it. Like. Yeah, you need like, to put from your part and just grab those opportunities. If you don't grab them, then they're never gonna, it's never gonna happen. Yeah. So um, that's, but, I think that's why, even though I don't, I didn't want to move or uh, to, to be far from my family. And uh, of course, now that I'm part, like I'm married to Leslie, her family is also my family. It's, uh, it, it is hard. But I mean, I don't know. You're I'm, a big boy. I, yeah, I'm the one who's who needs to make the money now. That's, That's true. Why. I needed a sugar daddy, and it was about time. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so would you recommend that people not necessarily like move states, but like move away from like their hometown? Of course. Once in their life. I mean, if the opportunity is going to be better, then uh, you know for sure that something good is going to happen, then yes. But... Even though it's scary? <laughs> everything's scary. Yeah, that's true. I, everything. I was scared. I, I wasn't sure if it was going to be the right decision, but... I still took it. Hmm. Okay. Um... I think for me it was hard because one, I had always lived by my parents. Like even if I wasn't living in their house anymore, like I was like 10 minutes from their house. So my mom, my dad and I, I feel like once. Guys, we're gonna stop for a second. You know why? Because Leslie forgot to change the battery. <laughs> well, it's not battery, it's an actual battery. So, oh. Sh yeah, that, that's what Joey say, no? Okay, when it's something if you're pretending... Real? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're being Joey. Okay, okay, let me change it real quick. Now that we changed the battery, um, yeah, I guess for me it was just hard because I was so used to like getting out of work and then just going to my mom's house or my mom coming and us going shopping, going to eat, like just doing something all the time. Um, it was around the time that the pandemic started so you know we just always were with each other so that we wouldn't go crazy just i was working from home at the time and this way i had like some kind of outlet so i was never alone like i always had either my mom my dad my nephew my brother my sister-in-law or jay you know um so when we moved here it just was hard because i was alone all day you know i wasn't used to being alone all day i've worked like since I was 16. So I was used to working all the time and then also not working. It was just like a complete change in my lifestyle. So I feel like at first it was kind of sad. I didn't know what to do with myself. Um, but I would also say it was one of the best things just because I had always told Jay, you know, that I would want to live outside of Texas. Like even though I was born in Mexico, I was raised in parts of Texas like my whole life. So that's all I knew. And when I came over here to Georgia, it was a complete culture shock. Like, you know, the people are different. The environment is different. Here we have four seasons, right? We actually have. We have seasons here. Like I had never seen that before in my life because in Texas, we live right, we live right by the Mexican border. It's hot all the time. Like there's only palm trees and that's it. And like 115 degree weather. So it's just like minor things, you know, the food difference, the people difference. Um, and then of course, just the, the aspect of not getting to also see your family or your friends whenever you want, you know, apart from your family. Um, I feel like I like it here I really do I feel like it's a very peaceful area uh, we live just an hour and like 20 minutes outside of Atlanta so whenever we want to you know do something special or whatever we'll go and spend the day in Atlanta 
and then just come back home at the end of the day um but yeah i like it i like it here i just i've been telling jay lately i'm like what are we gonna do now like i feel like we should move again later later like, like now i just want to keep moving until we find something you know um and i feel like right now it's easy for us because we don't have kids and we can just pick up and go right like when we found out about moving here i remember he told me like you know hey like this person called me we were literally at dinner right we were at dinner at yard house i remember we were at yard house having dinner and he started telling me about how like one of his old managers or friends was telling him about it and he's like what do you think we should do and i'm like i mean like i was kind of like in shock i was like say, what say like it through. you didn't say it right away yeah no like i was like in shock i was like what do you mean like you want me to just leave first of all we had just like the house that we built it's it was built in 2018 so it's not old at all like we literally built it so i was like how are we gonna leave the house that we just like built but i mean 19 no uh, maybe it was oh, 2019 no, 18, 18. it was the end of 2018 like i didn't get i got the house keys like in september of 2018 um but yeah I, like for me i was like we just spent all this time and all this like stressful situations to build the house and then i'm just gonna like not even live there like we only got to live there for about a year a year and a half before we had to move but luckily it really worked out um we were able to rent it out right away like Thank God that we did because we don't have to worry about, you know, the mortgage payments right now. Um, but yeah, I told Jay at first, I was like, uh, I don't know. And I literally was like, uh, maybe you go without me. And he's like, no, I don't want to go unless you go. So I was like, okay, I guess. Um, but yeah, I don't regret it. I just miss my friends and family sometimes. But otherwise, that's fine. Why are you crying? I'm not crying. Oh, I should say that I am very emotional and I cry for everything. And Jay gets like, ugh, why are you crying? Like, why are you crying now? And he thinks I was about to cry. I wasn't about to cry. Or her, was I? Her tone of voice, you can you can hear it. Like. <laughs> I just get him, okay, now I'm going to cry. Yeah, because, no. <laughs> now I'm going to cry because you're, you're, ugh. Oh, I'm going to cry now. No, I'm okay. Yeah, you are. Okay. I'm fine. Okay. Okay. So yeah, you guys should move. Move whatever you want. Go to Africa. Tampoco, because Anywhere. Africa has a bunch of like animals that can kill you. It's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> You're so annoying. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, okay, guys. So today's episode, right? Yeah, episode um we wanted to not make it too long just to kind of like dip our feet in the water again to kind of give you guys like different point of views we do want to have um well since we're playing around with it we plan on maybe doing like one of these per week along with like our other video which will usually be like a vlog or just you know anything that we can think of but we do really want to stick with this because we want you guys to see the different opinions that we both have and just to kind of show how different we are and our viewpoints on a lot of things so if you have any recommendations on what topics we should cover then let us know down below make sure you leave a like comment subscribe and of course if you can share the video as well all of that really helps us with the algorithm and of course we want to grow our channel so please help us out with that click on the bell yes don't if, forget. If you click on the bell, you will get notified every time that we upload a new video. So that's really, really important as well. And of course, make sure to follow us on all of our social media accounts. They will be linked down below. Do you have anything else you want to say before we go? I promise next year I'll post something. What do you mean next year? You have to start. Well, look, we're going to start tomorrow. You guys are going to see this Thanksgiving day, Thanksgiving morning. So Jay will have a post up tomorrow. <laughs> I'll I'll put uh if but you I see, him see those post... likes. If no, it's that's the thing, like if I post something and I don't see any likes or comments then Oh my you're such an attention whore. It doesn't motivate me to keep posting. Oh my God. Like, 
I need to see. I need to see something in exchange. Okay, like, all my gay besties that love be, Jay. It needs to be a win-win par situation. Like. So what do they win? You can see me. <laughs> That's the win. That's the win, of course. I mean, for, okay. Now get right. your likes. Okay, all right, gay besties, I'm calling y'all to make sure you like Jay's post. Make sure you follow his Instagram if you don't already. Follow me on OnlyFans, please. Oh, they're gonna think you have an OnlyFans. I do have an OnlyFans. What are you talking about? <laughs> they're not supposed to know about it's okay, that. Okay, it's okay. That's my. How do you call it? That's my. When you do publicity or how how do you say it? What are you talking about? When you do That's what? my marketing. Oh, okay. You market on OnlyFans? Mm -hmm. Jay is such a whore. <laughs> do you wanna see this without a shirt? Oh. Ah, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, guys. I can send you guys pictures if you want some. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't need to charge for it, like. Oh, you'll give it away for free? There's only pictures. But you could get money for that. Much. I don't know, gays. Yeah, let me know. Right. Okay, so if you like to see something, <laughs> let me know. Okay, well, thank you guys no, so much kidding. for watching today's video, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Peace.